Okay, so excuse the loud trucks outside right now. But the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a moisturizer to my face. And I like to use this simple, hydrating, light moisturizer. And this helps with any makeup that you're going to apply to your face. It helps it to stay on and protects your skin before applying it. I look on this eye so now I'm just going to replicate it on this side and the eyeshadow palette that I'm using for this look is by BH Cosmetics it's their wild child palette it just has some baked eyeshadows with some gorgeous tones so for this look I'm basically just going to use some of the browns and neutral colors a little champagne and the white now for the first shadow I'm going to use kind of like a light latte color so I'm just going to use my pointed tapered brush dip it in there make sure it's nice and coated and I'm going to go into my outer corner and just kind of make a V with that shadow and try to keep it right in the corner just blend it back and forth this sort of serves as the base now next I'm going to go into the coffee shade which is a little bit darker chocolate with the brush and then I'm using the same brush I'm just going to go over that same area in the outer corner of my eyelid next I'm going to use my flat brush and for this one I'm just going to dip into a black shadow and this you really want to be careful with because I just want to keep it right at the edge right in this little corner to add some depth to the look so try not to drag it out any further than the corner we're just going to dab it, just dab it in the corner. This will help keep it in its place. Then I'm just going to go over it with my blending brush. Just lightly, lightly go over that. Now I'm going to use, now I'm just going to use this flat brush and dab into this champagne color. Make sure that you get a nice thick layer of the shadow on both sides of the brush and this will really help brighten up the eye. So I'm going to go into the inner portion of the lid now. Dab it on there and drag it to my inner tear duct. And as you can see, I flipped the brush there to get the product from both sides. And for this, I'm not really blending it, I'm just dabbing it on top of the lid. Now I'm going to use my fluffy brush and just go over that to help blend everything together. 
going to use the same brush and go into the white. Just grab a little and highlight right under the brow. Okay. Once again, I'm going to use my fluffy brush and just pull it all together. Now, to make this look a little more glam, I'm going to use some glitter. So this is by J Cat Beauty. So for creamy glitter, I like to use my fingers to apply it. It helps me control it better, and that way it doesn't get caked on. So I'm just going to take my finger, dab a little, because a little goes a long way with glitter. You don't want to be looking like you just came straight out of a circus show. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the glitter on the inner portion of my eye just to brighten it up a little bit. Just like that. And now, we are going to apply a cat eye. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Waterproof Eyeliner. I like to use waterproof at all times just because I am running around a lot, I work out a lot, and I like to make sure that my makeup stays in place throughout the day. So, I'm just going to line a thin layer on top. And if you're like me and your eyelids are a little small, close your eye. Does anybody else open their mouth when they're applying mascara or eyeliner? It's like natural, it just happens. Right? It's like something you can't even control. Okay. Sorry if it just got brighter. The lighting on my mirror just turned up. I'm just going to pull from the outer portion there. And I just kind of shape it myself to how you want it to look, ideally. I'm just getting any spots that I missed. to a nice sharp point and then pull it in. Just like that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the chocolate brown shadow that we used to create the depth. Just take a small brush and I'm going to apply it to the corner of the lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take a black eyeliner and this is by Pencil Me. I like these because they have a built-in sharpener in them. So that is really handy. Now for this one, I'm just going to do the same thing. Go over that corner of the lower lash line. Just a little bit like that. Smoke that out a little bit with the brush so it's not so harsh. Next, I'm going to use my Lancome waterproof mascara. Once again, waterproof. 
and just go over my lashes. Surprisingly, I'm not opening my mouth right now. <laughs> okay. So now that we've completed the eyes, we can move on to the face. For the face, I'm going to use my Dior foundation, and this is amazing. But this is full coverage, hides any imperfections, and it goes on just like skin. So you really don't need a lot of this, and it'll go a long way. I'm just going to use that much. Take my foundation brush and dab it all over my face. might want to get my hair out of the way for this. <laughs> okay. And honestly, I was against using foundation for the longest time. But this one, I love how light it is. It just glides on and it really helps um, if you have any redness on your skin or any imperfections. Foundation just helps to kind of pull it all together. Okay. I just kind of dab it on. And then um, go in with my beauty blender. And then dab over that. Just like that. Now, I'm going to use my concealer. And I've been using this Laura Mercier concealer for quite a long time it's high coverage so I'm actually almost out <laughs> but again this is a product that a little goes a long way using about that much and I honestly probably won't even use all of it so just dabbed a little on my finger I'm going to start right by my inner tear duct have there I really like to brighten this area up and then I'm just going to pull down kind of in a triangular shape right underneath the eye and then I'm going to pull it out all the way to the corner of my or my eyebrow ends Just like that. And this is really going to help brighten up your face and the overall look. And I really only use concealer for highlighting purposes, not really to cover up any blemishes or anything. I just like how it helps highlight the face. So I'm also going to add a little bit right here on that crease right below the nose and a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Okay, and then I'm going to go in my beauty blender again. I'm just going to take my Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder and just dab a little bit in there. And this is a translucent powder, so I'm just going to take my brush, tap off the excess, and go over. We're going to go over 
where we lay that concealer. And it's okay if it's pretty thick because we're going to brush it off too. This is just going to help set the concealer. So now I'm just going to let that sit. While I let this sit, we can do the lips. For the lips, I'm going to use my NYX lip liner. And this is in the shade Coco, which is MPL 17. So I'm just going to that line around the edge of my lips. We're going to overline a little bit. And then fill it in. And whenever I'm applying a lipstick, I like to make sure that I line the outside and the interior of my lips. This really helps the lipstick to stay on longer throughout the day. The lipstick that I'm using is by Milani and this is one of my favorites right now. It's a matte lipstick, so it doesn't have any sheer or um, any shine to it. And this is in the shade Matte Naked, number 61. So I'm just going to take my lipstick and put it on right over the lip liner that we just applied. And I like the look of matte lipsticks just because it is more natural. I'm gonna do this a little. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit, we don't really need a lot, and go over the edges of my lips. And this is just gonna clean up. any excess is going over the lip. And kind of get rid of the sharp edge with the beauty blender. Now I'm just going to take a different brush and just kind of get rid of any excess loose powder that's sitting on my face. When you apply that thick layer of loose powder over your concealer under your eyes, it helps to kind of bake it. Next I'm going to apply a little blush. And this is one of my favorite drugstore blushes. This is by Wet n Wild. Really affordable. Um, it's in the shade Berry Shimmer, which is A34E, and a little goes a long way. And it just adds a really nice pink glow to your face. And I'm using Physicians Formula. This is one of my favorite highlighters that I've been using every single day. So I'm just going to get some of that, tap it, and I'm also going to go down the bridge of my nose a little bit, and up here, below my nose. And I'm also going to finish it off with this NYX matte finishing spray. This will help keep the look on your face much longer. So it's wearable throughout the day. You can even wear it from day to night. So that's it for my Valentine's Day glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions about how I achieved this look.
cutter and this is just a translucent blah, blah, blah. Okay, I need to redo that. Thank you.